This is my fifth time walking out and trying to do something funny for my intro and they're all just cringe as fuck. Like I was walking out and then walking in and then saying something funny and then I did it again and then I did it again and I said something funny and it wasn't funny, none of it was funny, it was all cringe and I was gonna put it at like as like bloopers at the end, but it's so cringe that I can't even do that because it's just it's just dumb. Like I don't know. I feel like when I try to be funny, it's just so it's so stupid. I'm embarrassed. But then when I don't try to be funny, somehow people are like, oh my god, this made me laugh, blah blah blah. I'm like, how? I am going to clean my house. <laughs> it's a fun day. It's oh my god, so eventful. The day is just getting started and there's so much to do. Yeah, we're just cleaning, that's it. I don't know. When I watch TikToks, I kind of like those cleaning videos, so I figured I'd try one out. Um, my cousin and I split the chores as roommates, so half of the house is done. I have like the hard parts. Okay, this is how we do it. So she does like 60% of the house and I do 40, but her 60% is pretty easy and my 40% is like scrubbing, scrubbing bathrooms and, and kitchen, you know what I mean? So. It evens out, it evens out really well. I'm happy with it because I'm picky about the washroom and the kitchen, so I'm happy with it, she's happy with it, it works. So half the house is clean. So I only have like two main areas to clean right now. Tomorrow, Shingy's doing a photo shoot and the people are coming over to do makeup and stuff at my apartment, so I need to make sure this bitch is spotless. I don't want one piece of lint, I don't want one piece of dust, I don't want one little crumb on the counter, it needs to be spotless. I'm very particular about how people see my home and how I see my home, it needs to be clean. So, we're gonna clean right now. I didn't get any sleep last night at all. It is now 11.48, I woke up at, I don't know, 8 a.m. And, um, well, woke up as in got out of bed at 8 a.m. because I did not sleep enough to wake up because I didn't sleep. Yeah, I just gotta clean right now, I gotta clean, so I guess I'll take you guys along with me. Okay, so you might be wondering, Ashley, your washroom looks spotless. What is the problem? I'll show you the problem. If you really clean, you know this is a problem. Over here. There's some slight buildup over the past like week and a half since the last deep clean was. There's a little bit of buildup there. The mirror is a little dirty. Do you see the dust? The dust has accumulated over about a week and a half. I don't know why this place gets pretty dusty. There's dust here on the, on the ledge and a little bit of buildup because I accidentally left my conditioner bottle there. So I got to clean that out. And of course the floors. I don't know if Brenda did them yet, but I got to do the floors. Empty the garbage. And here's the kitchen. In here I have to Clean the counters, clean the counters, clean the stove, clean the sink, and wipe everything down, blah, 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 floors, and that's it. Everything out here is already cleaned, dusted, floors are done, I came home and it's smelling spotless. Um, so we're good on that. This is what I do, just so you guys can see a quick rundown. I have this thing right here, my handy dandy cleaning thing. Two sets of gloves, one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom. Let me give you a tour. Bathroom. I'm gonna tell you guys what I do with everything. Okay. Okay, so, if anybody cares, these gloves are for the kitchen, this rag is for the kitchen, and this sponge, oops, and this sponge is for the kitchen. So with this sponge, I take them, and I clean the counters with it, and then I wet this, and I clean the counters take the soap off and then I take a paper towel and then dry it off. That's what I do to the counters. Then I have this sponge for the sink and I put Clorox in there and I, I let it season, <laughs> I let it marinate and then I clean this and then I use the Vim and I clean it off again, okay? I use this cleaner for the stove and I do a nice little wipey wipe and then I wipe the appliances as well. Um, then. I use this for the um, table, the microwave, the chairs, just to get the dust off. Then if I see smear marks on anything, soap is dried up, that wasn't washed off properly, I'll do a little Lysol wipe and clean it off. That's the kitchen for you. Then I have the bathroom and I'm gonna put a glove on to touch this stuff. So my yellow gloves are my bathroom gloves. I use this for the countertops, wipey wipe, do the sink, wipey wipe, and I use the same product or the bathroom, so yeah, Vim on the counters, Vim in the sink, blah, 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 and then I use <laughs> this. I spray the tiles with this, let it season, and I spray the cup that holds all the toothbrushes, 
and I put some water, I let it soak, and then I pour it out and it's clean, there's no grime, okay? This is the sink and the counters, and this is the, bat, the this is the toilet, and I use this to wipe. <laughs> and then after all that, I go in with my Windex and I wipe the mirrors down, and I use Comet in the bathtub, I let it season, and I use that like in the in the thing as well. Then we use the mop. I use hot water to mop, and I put a little splash of bleach, some pine sole, and um, wipey wipe. Whew, yeah, so I guess maybe I'll do like a time lapse of me cleaning. Now that you know my process, at least if you watch me, you'll understand what's going on. Um, this might be boring. This might be boring, but I'm gonna show you because why not? First, I have to empty the clean dishes out of the sink because I need a clean sink, and then I'll just show you what's going on. So, yeah. <laughs> Now we do the next side and we bring everything over and do that all over again. Okay, so my camera had to charge, but this is what I did in the meantime. I put some Comet in the sink and the toy, the toilet, the bathtub. I put a little bit of water so it can marinate, as I say. <laughs> next things that I do, I take these guys out and I put them somewhere, usually on a towel somewhere inside the bathroom. I move everything. I remember what I said about this thing. I put spray in there, like a bleach spray. Hot water, because my sink gets really hot. Swish it around a little bit, and then I let this sit for the entire time that I'm cleaning. When you do that, you don't have to scrub it, which is great. I get all the stuff off the toilet too.
Okay, so now that that's all done, this, I can pour it out. And then I do a rinse with hot water. And it's clean. No grime, no nothing. If you do that weekly, you don't have to deal with it. If you do that once every couple weeks, you're gonna have to scrub it, but I do that weekly. Then I put everything back. It's all dollar store, cute. Then this towel, I throw it in the laundry and I replace it with a new one. Onto the shower. So yeah, finishing touches include towel replacement, windexing the mirror, I windex this, and I think that's it. Oh, garbage and sweep. I'm gonna do the shower. The shower is very simple. I'm not even gonna show it because it's just really boring. Um, I just take <laughs> Vim as always and I just go whoop and I spray it or squirt it all over. And I use hot water and I take this thing and I scrub a dub dub. And that's really it, like, and then I rinse it all out and I get the grout cleaner and I go in between tiles if there's mildew buildup or I just, um, yeah, like I don't do that weekly because usually there's nothing to do and I spray these things. washroom is spotless just gotta move the gloves have a little dust pile there bathtub is clean look at that shining sparkly I fucked up I still have to mop my room and stuff and I already did that so I pour my mop water in the toilet so I'm probably gonna do that and then clean it again room is very clean now everything's dusted everything's clean I just have to clean the dust pile and mop but my room is usually pretty clean now we do finishing touches, get the garbages. Watch this, now I'm just gonna dry it. Change this towel out. All my towels are old because they're from my mom, but they're clean. And little finishing touches like refilling napkins. And toilet paper. Just a little splash. Then I either use pine sole or this. I like the smell of this a lot. And these are my cleaning slippers so I don't get footprints. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, it's spotless. No dust, no dust. No dust, no dust. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm hot. Clean, 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 Woo. Again, very clean. Just gonna put some more toilet bowl cleaner in there, but everything's clean. Remember that grime from earlier? I don't know if you ever even saw it, but it's all gone. Everything's spotless. Mirror, wow. And here's clean, floor's a little bit wet. Everything else is good though, I just gotta close that. <sighs> but yeah, it's all clean now, wash my hands. 
I have to shower after I clean because I get so hot and like I just get so sweaty that I need to shower right after so yes my shower is freshly clean but someone's gonna have to get in eventually so I'm gonna go shower and start my day thanks for cleaning with me or not cleaning with thanks for watching me clean if this was boring and you never want to see this again please tell me okay please tell me if you liked it please tell me because I don't know if this is something anyone's interested in I'm weird so I like videos like this but um yeah like that's pretty much it i'm gonna go shower and start my day i'm exhausted and if anyone is curious this happens either weekly or like every week and a half or so we do our deep cleans so don't be a nasty hoe and clean now you know how at least bye guys <laughs> i need to go get cute